Thanks one for coming back to the Fuse UK. It's much appreciated as always. Our next guest on the show tonight, ahead of his clash at BKFC 50 on the 22nd of September against Josh Copeland. It's Steve Helios. How are you doing, brother? Can you hear me, mate? Hi. Yeah, hey, hi. I'm here. I'm here. How are you doing, bro? You good? Yeah, I'm fine. Thank you. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Good man. Good man. I was wondering um, if we could start this podcast off by talking about where your fighting career began. Yeah, uh, my career in the boxing. Yeah. Yeah, my career. I was I have a short, I have a short, uh, short uh, career, but a good career. But he yeah. was short. He was uh, he, he was short, unfortunately. So how about I don't know. I start. I get. I got ninety years old when I start boxing. Yeah. But then after I went very fast because I always said I have a talent. <laughs> I have a talent. <laughs> so I make uh, all my be- all the championship. Very quick, very yeah. not quick, and so I will. I was at this time heavyweight, but then when I became professional, then they, they told me still you have a chance to become world champion, but in cruiserweight. So yeah. okay, no. So after that, said no problem. So I, I lost to I, I lost the way. And and I took the belt in cruiserweight be yeah. against uh, Firat Aslan. Firat Aslan, very 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 strong guy. I swear, very strong guy. But it was good, good experience. And yeah. Then and then and in the meantime, in the meantime, there is uh, the fighter. Uh, what's his name? Um, Kimbo Slice. Kimbo Slice. So I, I saw the fight of Kimbo Slice in the garden. And I fall in love with this. I said, oh my God, I love that. And my friend, I have a friend, in two o'clock in the morning, one day wake up me and tell me, Steve, listen, I have a fight for you, but it's illegal. You can't do this. There's a lot of money. Two o'clock in the morning, he wake up me. I was mad. But I said, yes, of <laughs> course, I want to do it. Of course, I want to do it. But guess what? The next day, when I wake up in the morning, I call him. I say, hey, hey. The name is Munir. I say, Munir, it's good to fight. You order everything. And to me, Steve, it's a joke. I say, man, you wake up me in the night for telling me this and after it's a joke. I was mad. But just for telling you, because of Kimbo Slice, I love and fall in love. I fall in love of this fight the, with, with, the, with the glove. I said, whoa, it's good. I love that. Yeah, it's <laughs> very crazy. It's very crazy, but I love that. And for <laughs> so, yeah. so, 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 so when did the actual bare knuckle call come for you? Because obviously this is your second fight in the BKFC now. So when did the right. bare knuckle call come? When, when, when they call me? Yeah, like when when did the opportunity to turn over to bare knuckle come? Oh, I, you know what? I waiting in BKFC is because, like I said, I said when I said something, I do it, and I said, listen, me if I put my foot in BKFC, one matter what happened, I will be world champion of BKFC because I love that, and like I said, I watch uh, the Kimbo Slice. I said, no, me, I want to be more than Kibo Slice. I love that. I love that guy. <laughs> and I fought my first fight. And trust me, two years, two years after my fight, they never called me. I said, damn, why is that don't call me? And I try every time I call David Feynman, ne- nobody answer me. And maybe I was the one with the wrong team. I don't know. Then... Two years after that, now I'm with my coach and my uh, management. They said, let me see, you can fight. 
I say, yes, I'm ready because I never stopped to training because I yeah. love boxing. I love to fight, but I never stop. I, all the time training, training, training. Even my wife tell me, still, you have to stop. Oh, you are not young anymore. I'm young. <laughs> me in my head, I'm young. Don't worry, I'm young. But this is why I'm here. Yes. So, are you living over in France now, or you in America? Yeah, yeah. I live in Miami now since uh, maybe 15 years now, 15 or 16 years, 16 years, years. Long wow. time. I don't count. So, do you know much about your opponent, Josh Copeland? What do you think of his previous previous performances? No, I don't know. I know he's a MMA fighter. Like a lot of people in the BKFC, there's a lot of MMA fighter inside. So, you know, I will tell you, and like I said for my coach, I, I guess my coach, no better man than me, my opponent, me, I'd never, ever, even in boxing, but you know, boxing a little bit, because boxing is more technical. So I have to see, I have to check how way he is. But now there's, for me, Bernard Cole, there's no technique. So it's not like, the regular boxing, there is no, it's not the la classe, I will say, the nobler. The nobler is a, is a boxing, regular boxing. This is what I want to make in BKFC. I know it's very hard, but for now, for answer you about my opponent, I know nothing. Yeah. I know that he's a MMA fighter. That's it. Because, you know, like I said for my coach, I, I told him two, the, two, two days ago, I said, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck who he is. Because look, if I'm in the street, if someone come to attack me or someone, I don't go to ask him, oh, what you did before? MMA, karate, kung fu. I don't <laughs> give a fuck. I will go and I fight. For me, I'm a, I'm a gladiator. I go in the ring and I fight. Now it's a circle. I go and I fight. I love to fight. I fight. Class. I'm really looking forward to your next outing, mate. And do you have a prediction? Do you think this fight will go all the way? No, I don't have. Because, unfortunately, unfortunately like I said, I, I know in BKFC, they, they love kill. They love look, 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 knock down. They love that. Me, I'm like, uh, you know the cats? When you the cats, if he sees a mouse... He don't go to kill the mouse directly. He go to play with the mouse. You know, with the, with the leg, he go to play with the mouse. And me, I'm a cat. I love to play with my mouse. And after I hit him, so I love to play, I love to play because I enjoy. Then, if I have opportunity to put KO, I make KO. But I never, never, I don't look him for the KO. I never look him for the KO. I love to play. I want to enjoy because I love to fight. So I have to enjoy. So now what I can tell you, I don't know what's going to happen. Just by my feeling. I walk in by my feeling. My feeling will tell me. Now I can tell you nothing. I don't know. <laughs> no worries, mate. And on um, September the 22nd, what can we expect to see from Steve Helius on the fight? So for the in 20, 20, 22 September, yeah, what can we expect to see? Um, can we expect to see anything different from your debut? Oh, yeah. Yeah, because the debut, no. The, I, I think the different, I don't think, go to be more different. I would think I, I'm ready for everything because I wait for everything. I'm waiting for everything. Everything. The, the, all the different, all the athlete is different. I'm waiting for anything. I'm ready. I'm waiting. The first one I fought, I was a little bit confused because I'm a, me, I'm a boxer. So I react like a boxing, but now it's not the boxing. So I know now it's not the boxing. It's truly really not the boxing. So trust me, now it's not, oh, I go to wait. No, no, I don't have to wait. He's given and kills the guy in the front of me. That's it. This is what he is. So... I don't know what's going to happen, but me, I'm ready for the. I'm not. I'm ready for the war because this is what what's going to happen for me. Yeah, good mess. 
And before we wrap the interview up, is there anybody that you'd like to give a shout out to? Any sponsors, anything like that? No, I, mean, I want to thanks. I have a lot of name. I want to thank everybody who who helped me for that. My sponsor, or my everybody, because I don't want to forget anyone, but my coach, my two two guys, many two guys in the gym in my gym. They they make the glove with they put the glove with me. Even they are not the same category, but they are very good. I learn with everybody. The yeah. big one, like the small one, everybody. I don't make exception. I love everybody. And thank you for everybody who helped me for that. And thank you for my coach. And I thanks my uh, my management, who is very good until now. <laughs> and Great. I thanks and I thanks David Feldman because two years David Feldman and uh, what is his name, the matchmaker. Ned uh, Shock. Yeah, Ned Shock because both they took two years for call me back. <laughs> but it's never late, so I thank them. Thank David and thanks Nate, and keep it. Uh, let's go, let's go. Yes, I can't wait, mate. I can't wait, and uh, best of luck for your fight, mate. Hopefully, we can do another interview after the fight. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh my God. I waiting this like a. I waiting this moment like a kid waiting for Christmas. I waiting <laughs> that. I'm the, I'm the same. I'm a kid. It's my Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, class. And just for the people who are watching now, I'm going to put all Steve's uh, Instagram and things in the description. So if you should uh, go over there and give him a follow, that would be uh, much appreciated. But yeah, um, thank you so much, much for coming on, Steve. It's much appreciated, mate. And hopefully we can catch up after your fight and hope you enjoy the rest of your day, man. Thank you so much. And I thank everybody. I thank all my fans. And I thank all the people who want to see me to lose because this is because of these people. I'm still here because, the, you know, when people sometimes, even your friend, they say, oh, I'm happy for you. But it's not true. And I know that. Yes. So I thank these people because because of these people, all the people who do love, who don't love me, who want to see me to, to lose, I'm here and I never give up. And I thank these people because they give me a lot, a lot for us. So guys, you can help me all, all, all time you want. I don't give a fuck. I'm happy. It's my power. So thank you everybody. And I thank you. And I thank for you too. Thank you for the, for the, for, for, for calling me and to speak with me. Yes, not a problem, mate. Thank you very much, Steve. I'll speak to you soon, pal. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye. You too, mate. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye, bye.